Okay, so let me just say one thing. This video is like 30 minutes long. So if you don't want to like sit through it and listen to me, I am going to upload a separate video that's going to be just just this exact same video with no audio played at like 3x the speed. It's basically going to be a time lapse of me doing this model. Um, so yeah, if you're interested in that and don't want to watch this video, it's perfectly fine. Have fun. Oh yeah, and this one is basically me talking through the entire process. So if you don't know how modeling works, this is a good idea. To, it's definitely a good idea to watch someone else model because then you'll basically learn how to do certain things. So yeah, have fun and good luck. So when it comes to like getting better at 3D modeling, you need to constantly keep on trying new things. And that's the exact reason I'm trying this scene right now. I am not comfortable with the plant on that table over here. Uh, where is it? Here. Okay, and I am also not comfortable with this tile pattern at the background because I'm probably gonna have to use Substance Designer for that. Um, I might end up changing the tile pattern a little bit depending on what colors and what like floor I choose, but I'm trying to like stay true to this image as much as possible. So yeah, let's see how it goes. All right, so first of all, uh, let me just expand this over here. And let's just mark all of the lines over here that we see, okay? So obviously there's like a line over here. So that's obvious. Uh, there seems to be one separation over here as well. That's also obvious. There's one here. There's one here. So the reason I'm doing all of these is because I want to have loop cuts, okay? And I want to use all of the loop cuts at the start. And I don't want to be a, I don't want to be forced to like loop cut later on. So oh, I guess like this one does go all the way down as well. So yeah, this one is gonna help me like twofold. Uh, anyway, where was I? Yeah, I don't want to like keep on loop cutting my I guess mesh because once I do this cut out over here, cutting the rest is going to be such a pain. So let's just stick with what we have right now. And let's just mark this as well. So like it goes basically along this. Uh, anything like past this is basically a reflection of what's over here. So this glass is actually doing two things. It's reflecting as well as it's like, it has a transmission shader. That's going to be tough. <laughs> All right, uh, I think we're ready to begin. So let's start loop cutting. All right, so basically just select your mesh and start in edit mode, control R. And this one I'm just gonna place over here and then go back inside in the camera view to see where it landed. And surprisingly, it seems like it's pretty much perfect. All right, so next up you just do control R and we're gonna be doing loop cuts along the middle. So I guess like, yeah, keep my mouse over here. Um, this one, is slightly over here it's not directly in the middle of like is it you know what it might be in the middle let's just keep it in the middle because it's symmetry even if it's not actually symmetrical <laughs> okay uh next up we want the two loop cuts over here and i'm just gonna keep them a little bit over here and all right and finally, actually, that might be it. Yeah, we, I don't think we need any more loop cuts. Ooh, is that a door? Is this supposed to be a door? Huh, uh, you know what? How about we just have a window? Yeah, let's just have a door, it's fine. So let's just do this. And actually, I feel like there were like easier ways to make a door, but it's fine. How do I like take this up without messing with the mess rest of the mesh? You know what? Let's just do this. And we're gonna select this and this, extrude it in the X direction over here, and then delete these faces. So that's actually gonna bring some more light into our scene, I believe. And what else we want to do? Um, so this is where the shower cutoff is gonna be. And is the shower cut off directly underneath this? Yes, it is. So just select this and same thing, extrude it in the Z direction 
upward until you feel like it's enough. Then you can delete the face. And this time we're going to do something extra, which is to select this and extrude this up around over here. So it doesn't really match this perfectly, but I'm not really going for that right now. So it's fine. You know, it's perfectly fine. And this is all still just a single object. So we might need to like do something about that in the future, considering I do want to like smart UV unwrap this area separately since I'm going to be using a texture. Um, actually, why don't we just do something about that right now? Uh, which is basically that all of this area needs to be a separate object. So I'm just going to separate it by selection. And there we go. Yeah. Okay. Um, finally, we can just extrude this inward. I think that should be fine. Yeah, that should be fine. All right. So that's like the basic room mesh finished. And now we can start working on adding some more stuff to this. So the way we add stuff to like specific spots is actually a lot simpler than it would seem. Uh, actually, can I like completely lock this? What if I do this? Can I still see through it? Yes, I can. All right, that's perfectly fine. So what we do is basically select an edge. Uh, let's say this edge. And I'm going to shift S. Cursor just selected. And now the cursor is over, over here. So I can just get out of like um, edit mode and add a plane. Rotate the plane around X axis. Uh, I'm just going to move it around the X as well. Like just bring it over here. And let's just scale it up. Scale it, I guess. It's like a bit more than the halfway point. So let's see if this is enough. Actually, this does seem enough. So like this much. And then just scale it along the z-axis as well. Till it reaches the height that you want it to. Um, there you go. All right. Uh, next up, let me just see what it looks like. All right, next up, you need this, like all of this stuff on the side, and that is going to be like slightly more problematic, but not really. Just select this, cursor just selected, and just create a cube. Um, I'm just going to move the cube inside, and I guess I'm going to use this plane down here. It's not distorted. The top one is distorted, so there's no point in like using that as a reference. I'm going to use this bottom plane as a reference, and I'm going to make this part of like, you know, uh, this design. So this corner, I guess, is gonna be like along this plane. So just move it down and extrude it out. Actually, I didn't really need to extrude it out because it is a cube. I can just like move it out. So, ooh, did I mess up? I did mess up. All right, so this is something that you can accidentally do. Uh, is the cube selected? Yes, it is. Just press P and separate that by selection. All right, so select the cube and move it around X. Um, one, what I did was I added the cube while I was in edit mode. So that kind of like messed with the entire thing. Okay, I'm gonna scale this along the Y axis, but it's not working because the origin is over there. So just, it's that it's really simple just set origin and origin to geometry and scale it along the y-axis now all right that's looking pretty good actually and now since like this bit is part of this object I'm just gonna do it in edit mode uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just move the cursor ooh, move the cursor over here uh, add a I guess I need a cube for this. Move it over here. Alright, and scale it along the y-axis as well. And just... I'll just stop shy of it. It doesn't get seen anyway, so it's not really a problem. And from now on, whenever I need to like actually increase the height of this, I can just edit this and select the top face and just move that up or down. All right. And finally, I need to add the mirror. 
So the mirror is going to be even easier. Just come over here. Your search is selected. Um, I'm going to keep the mirror as a cube as well. Uh, I want there to be like an edge, basically. Oh, actually, we never actually see the... Oh, we do see the edge, so it's fine. Yeah, I was getting like excited for no reason. <laughs> so let's just make it around the same height but i want to make it higher up so just select the top and let's go i guess this because then it's in line with this so it looks better all right so that's that part done all right, so now we need to figure out something for the sinks, basically. Uh, let me just quickly remove these guidelines that I drew. <laughs> yeah, the radius is at 500, so I can just remove everything. Anyway, uh, back on topic. Let's just come over here. Get out of this rendered mode. All right. So, um, let's see what I want to... Okay, so I want my sinks around here and here. How do I do that? Well, that is going to be a problem. <laughs> you know what? Cursor is selected. Let's just make a cube. Move it up. Scale it down. Scale it along the y-axis. Um, let's just bring it over here. What does this look like? Alright, and we're just going to select this. Add a boolean modifier and select the cube. the cube and it's gonna be a difference so when the cube isn't there that happens all right and let me just quickly think about something I want two of them right so just yeah just duplicate this array and no I want 1.5 okay 1.7 that's much better all right, and now we can just simply hide these. Yeah. Okay, uh, let's just not hide these from this view, though. Let's just make them smaller, move them along the x-axis a little bit. I think that tip is perfectly fine, actually. Uh, let's just see if that tip is actually fine. I don't think it is. Yeah, I think they're a bit too deep. <laughs> so let's just fix that. Why am I even... Okay. Scale it along the z-axis. Huh? There we go. Okay, so we're going to do the exact same thing to these things. The faucets, I believe. So... I mean, I could make them as a separate object, but I'm going to make them part of the like sink as well. Because that way, they can move with the sink. Oh, but I don't want them to like... Ooh. Alright. Okay, let's just make them a separate object then. Uh, let's just shift S control. Okay. I'm just gonna move it up and make it small. Move them over here. Move them down here. And let's just quickly do that. Okay, edit mode and face. Extrude down. Select the top face. Move it up. Okay, it shouldn't really be that hard. Um, I'm gonna move it up over here and then here. Okay, and just select all of these faces. Press I. Make an inset. Take it in. Oh. Scale it in. There we go. And now I believe I need to get to the front view. This is the back view. Okay, where's the front view button? Is there no front view button? Oh, wait. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's just add this over here. Okay, so face select mode. Select all of these. And extrude them forward. Back to the same view. Select these. And extrude them forward. And let's just select both of these and extrude them a little bit more than the rest. 
And this whole thing can move down over here. All right, what happens when I do this? Bad things happen. Well, that's because I haven't beveled it yet. See, it's completely different. <laughs> yeah, it's, just select this and poke face. Also, it might be a good idea to like just select all of this and shift E. Actually, no. I mean, it's not really visible. Like, imperfections over here will basically add to the detail because of the distance that it's at. So I'm gonna keep it like that. Um, the actual problem right now is to have this be here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna array this, but, but, I'm not going to use relative offset, I'm going to use constant offset. And that's because I can count these squares. So 1, 2, 3, 4. So 3.6. Oh, 36. Good enough. Good enough. So let's just quickly hide this now. All right. And I'm going to Alt H. Okay, still hide that though. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna make another collection with all of the like um, hidden objects. So new collection, hidden booleans, and just hide that and that. All right, so that is nearly done. I mean, it's not like the exact same spot, but it was never going to be because I didn't actually trace over this image. Alright, so that's that part done. Next up, we need to like texture this a little bit. But before we do that, let's quickly finish up the final things. Um, for example, we want this in the background, we want this thing and whatever on earth this thing is. Ooh, I think it's a tower hanger. Is it? Oh well, we'll find out. So let's just start with this messy pile of plants that I hate. Uh, so let's just quickly come over. Ooh, Shift S, cursor to select it. That'll just select the center of this entire plane so I can get out of like, you know, uh, edit mode now and add a circle. Move it up a little bit. Wait a second, why is my circle? Oh, because I had that group selected. That's fine. Let's just make it smaller, make it closer to the wall, like in the video. Not the video, the image. Edit mode, press F, move it up just ever so slightly. Just gonna make it even more smaller. Okay, and now just extrude it up. Oh, need to go into edit mode first. Extrude it up. Expand it out, extrude it up, expand it out. Um, I'm not going to be like going for the ex an exact match. Mostly because that would take way too much time and brains. But honestly, I feel like this is a good enough match. So finally just delete the face on top. And we need to move it down just a little bit. Uh, we need to solidify it. So that should be good. And we need to also do this. And let's just move it down ever so slightly once more. All right. Um, select the base and just poke faces. And finally, I guess it is a good idea. So just first I just select it so I can get like the center of this. And I'm going to make another circle that's gonna fit inside this one. I'm gonna press tab, press F, and that's gonna be the soil basically. So what does it look like over here? You know what? It's good enough. Uh, I guess it's also a good time to make links. So basically I'm gonna select this. Select this and control P and it's gonna make this bit apparent. Wait, no, it's gonna make this bowl the parent of this thing inside it. So what happens is basically it rotates and moves around with it as well as like scaling. It's 
it basically makes life a lot easier if I want to move things away or like in another spot. And I guess I'll do the same over here. So just hide this and let's just select this and this. Cursor to select it and we can get over here. Oh, shift B and then draw this. All right. How do we do this? Shift A. Let's just make a plane because why not? Put up just slightly. Why is this tilted? Is it actually tilted? Is this entire thing slightly rotated? No, it's not. Is this? Oh, wait. I'm in edit mode. Oops. Plane. Okay, it actually is slightly rotated. I am so confused right now. Well. Is it along the X? No, it's along the X. Y. Oh my god. How? You know what? It's fine. It's okay. We can ignore it. Extrude it up. Delete the face. Now uh, we're gonna bevel this and then we're gonna solid. No, not that. Solidify it. And let's just solidify it like that. And we can add in subsurf. Ooh, you don't need subsurf, it's really far away. And let's just increase the bevel segments as well. Okay, and now we're gonna make another plane. I rotate it over here, move it up. Why am I doing this? It's never gonna be seen. Yeah, it's never gonna be seen, so we don't need to do that. Okay. Now, uh, I have no idea why that's slightly rotated. Uh, is it like. Is the entire thing rotated? What's going on? Let me try to find out. Yeah. It definitely is. I just don't know why. Uh, clear rotation. Hmm. Interesting. Eh, it's fine. No one will ever find out. Apart from the people who watch the video. So I'll take over here and ooh, I guess I need to like make this slightly larger over here. Ever so slightly. Or do I just need to make this smaller? There we go. Why not both? Okay, and finally we need to work on this thing. And to do that, it's actually a lot easier. So I just do that, rotate it around the Y axis, make it smaller, go into edit mode, face, and do this. Let's take a look at what it actually is. So it has two faces coming out of it, one at the bottom, one at the top. So let's just move the cursor to this thing. And I'm going to make one circle, rotate it around Y 90 degrees. Make it smaller, move it down, edit mode, F, edit mode, make a face, extrude it out, and I guess I'm gonna add a loop cut for that. So it's gonna be like this, like this, yeah, that looks perfectly fine, do this, this is gonna be extruded downward. And scaled down. I think I need to move it a little bit more down. All right, and then let's just duplicate this. Rotate it around the x-axis at 90 degrees. Who actually? Let's do it at like 160 degrees. Move it up, and this is going to be smaller. So there we go, and then we can just select all three of these select this one last and control p make parent so that's like the basic model done next up we need to texture it
But I feel like that should probably have a video of its own. This is already getting way too big. Um, oh yeah, I've kind uh, yeah, I kind of forgot about the lights. <laughs> okay, let's do the lights. Also, yeah, it is like rotated. If you just look at this, like what the hell? What happened? And I don't even know how to like fix this because if I change anything, it might change like all of everything else. Well, it's not really that bad, so I'm gonna keep it. And it, I don't think it'll mess with like most of what I'm like trying to do. So first of all, I'm just gonna select this and make a light over there. And to do that, I just need to make a circle and the rotation is messing with me. I am so happy that I don't need to like, <clears throat> you know, model any more after this. So I'll just do this. Oh, I need to do the plan, but that doesn't really matter. Well, I'm just gonna make, I'm just gonna make the light like this. It doesn't really matter. And I need to, okay, this is the first material that we're gonna do basically. Uh, let me just select this, get out of here. I'm gonna make a material, this is gonna be called the bulb base. And I'm gonna select this, make another material, and that's gonna be called uh, bulb emission. Okay, I suck at typing, bulb emissions. And just convert this into emission. Uh, where is it? Emission, there we go. And does it need to be colored? Yes, it does. It needs this color. Exactly. Is that white? That's actually white. <laughs> okay, so it needs... I mean, it's not white, it's just nearly white. Oh, it's literally white. Okay, it just needs this color then. There we go. And... It's not work. Oh, because I haven't assigned it yet. So let's just change the cursor to origin. Uh, let's just select that. Okay, hide the overlay and increase the strength of that. So 50, 500. That is a lot better, but I feel like it's a bit too much. So 300. Okay, that's better. Um, now I need to like also model this just a little bit more. Yes, it. The rotation is messing with my head. Um, why can't I select this? Oh, because I have the overlay off. I actually have it selected. My bad. So just. I'm gonna just select all of these and rotate. So the reason I double tapped Z over there is because I want to use the item Z axis. No, this is like the world Z axis. This is the item Z axis. There we go. That's much better. And then I want another bulb like around here. So let's just select that. And I guess the easiest way to do is array. And not around here. I need it around. Minus five. Okay, minus 10. There we go. That's much better. Alright, so I guess that's the basic modeling done. I did not really do like the shower head and that stuff because I don't feel like using that design. I mean, I might still use it depending on how lazy I'm feeling, but I might change it as well. So yeah, I'm definitely going to be making another video with the textures and stuff because this video is already getting a bit too long. I think it's like clocking in at around 30 minutes. And yeah. So yeah. <laughs> Thanks for watching and bearing with me.